Good day. This is Russell Hawley coming to you from the Tate Geological Museum at Casper College. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about crystal shapes. Uh, these are um, good ways to identify different kinds of minerals because uh, every mineral has its own distinctive particular crystal shape or uh, a suite, if you will, of crystal shapes. Um, let me give you a, an example. This is not a crystal. This is a block of wood that's been carved into the shape of a crystal. And specifically, it's a crystal that's shaped like a six-sided prism with a six-sided pyramid capping the tip. Now we've mentioned which mineral has this crystal shape before in an earlier podcast. Yep, that's right. It's this one. It's quartz. And here you can see that six-sided prism shape and then that six-sided pyramid capping the tip. But other minerals can make different crystal shapes. For example, uh, this is a rhomboidal crystal shape. And if you find a mineral with a rhomboidal crystal shape to it, you're almost undoubtedly looking at gypsum because this is the most abundant crystal, uh, the most abundant mineral that makes rhomboidal crystals. And you can very clearly see that, uh, that rhomboidal shape to this guy right there. So gypsum, easy to identify because of its distinctive crystal shape. Now, many minerals have a shape like this, which is an octohedron. The octohedron. Can you guess how many sides there are? How many faces there are on an octohedron? Yeah, that's right, eight. Eight sides on this. And this is a, a very common uh, crystal shape. Magnetite crystals are shaped like an octohedron, and gold almost never forms crystals, but when it does, they're shaped like an octohedron. Fluorite can make crystals that are shaped like an octohedron, and diamonds, naturally occurring diamond crystals, are shaped like an octohedron. So if you see a real diamond crystal, it's going to be this shape. Now if you see a diamond that's this shape, see that? Oh, calm down. It's not a real diamond. It's made out of plastic. But if you see a diamond that's cut into this shape, that's not a naturally occurring crystal. This is a diamond that was carved by Jared or Zales or somebody. Um, a naturally occurring diamond crystal is going to be shaped like this. And by the way, it's almost undoubtedly going to be a whole lot smaller. And then finally, uh, one last crystal uh, shape that I'd like to discuss is pyrite also known as fool's gold. And uh, this comes in a whole bunch of different crystal shapes. This is part of a cube, a cube-shaped pyrite crystal. This is kind of a pyrite sandwich with a whole bunch of cubes in between these two layers right here. Uh, pyrite can also make 12-sided um, crystals, a dodecahedron-shaped crystal. And uh, then there's this shape, which is like a cube with the corners sliced off. And this is so characteristic of pyrite that uh, it's called a pyrite ohedron, a pyrite ohedron. And uh, so if a friend comes to you and they've got a crystal shaped like this, uh, break it to them gently that they have not found gold. They've been fooled by pyrite. 